live, the sole Eastern Massachusetts gambling license has been awarded. Wynn Resorts wins with its plan for a waterfront Everett Casino. Sky 5 live over the former chemical plant site on the Mystic River where that casino could be built. The story's far from over, though, tonight. Let's get you right to News Center 5's Janet Wu. She's live in Dorchester. This is where they took the vote, Heather. It was a vote that very few people would have placed a bet on until today. After all, the wind team was bickering with the commission until the very last minute over traffic problems in Charlestown. But in the end, it was the economic package that Steve Wynn was promising that sold the commission. More jobs, higher salaries, and a bigger entertainment complex. The eyes have it three to one. The win applicant is the successful applicant. Congratulations and uh... the big applauder, Everett Mayor Carlo Di Maria. The vote means a casino on the Everett Boston line will begin construction sometime after the November election. And if the referendum question to repeal casinos in Massachusetts is killed, this toxic waste site would need to be cleaned before building this complex, which could take three years. Steve Wynn, who wasn't here today, is promising more than 1,700 construction jobs, nearly 3,300 full time jobs, at an average salary of $56,000. For us, it was like a our last opportunity uh, to really clean up this dirty environmental site and uh, to really transform uh, the city of Everett. With a $1.6 billion investment, um, the largest private development uh, project in the history of the Commonwealth, that this will really be a, a, a great invigorator of economic development, job creation. The state is expected to get around $200 million in tax revenues annually, but the decision means the end of the Suffolk Downs racetrack and some 1,000 jobs. For the people who work at the track, the people who work in those jobs, uh, I think there's little comfort in what might happen 5, 10, or 15 years down the road. You look a little shocked. It's a huge disappointment. I mean, you know, we, we worked very hard on this. We had the best proposal. Uh, we worked so collaboratively. The sole commissioner to vote for Mohican Sun said his biggest concern was Wynn's ability to play well with the city and state during the permitting process to deal with traffic issues in Charlestown, which still lies ahead. I was concerned about the complicated nature of the permitting process that lies ahead and the ability to uh, get through that permitting process. Now, Acting Commission Chairman James McHugh was the only one of the four commissioners voting today to vote for Mohegan Sun. The traffic problems in Charlestown hits very close to home to him because he lives in Charlestown. We'll have more at 6 o'clock. Reporting live from Dorchester, Janowoo, WCVB News Center 5.